Last week was wild. Late, late nights extending into the early morning hours and early morning hour wake-ups before sunrise. We have been hitting it hard with the boat work because we want to move on the boat as soon as possible. But of course, we had to take a couple of days last week to stop doing boat work and actually get everything out of our now former house so that the new owners could move in. So we did that for two days and by about one o'clock in the morning, the day that the house was being turned over to the new people, we had everything out of the house. Whew. It was a push and we were exhausted. So we took the next day off and then after that, we got right back to it because we want to move on this boat this year, this season, this month. We don't want to have this extend forever. So many, many long hours over the weekend, late nights again, early, early mornings, and a few trips all over the state looking for the supplies that we needed to make sure that we stayed in our timeline and we have the paint job for the boat completely done. We have the bottom paint done, we have the hull paint done, we have the blue stripe on the side of the boat done, we have the no skid paint done, so that's the part you walk on so that you don't slip when it's wet. And we've taken all of the hardware off of the boat, so the tow rail, which is the wood piece that goes alongside, the lifelines, which are the safety lines that keep you on the boat. We took those off and those were off the entire time we were painting so we had to be super careful and make sure that nobody fell off balance was lost a couple of times but obviously it worked out and we were able to not fall off and for the most part there weren't any mishaps now that we have all of that exterior paint done we are so close to getting to the point where we can actually get the last little few things done inside of the boat so that we can move on before we can actually move on though we need to put the tow rail back on because otherwise we're going to have a lot of leaks. Although we've plugged up all of the screw holes for the tow rail with caulk, we've still had a little bit of leakage. And if you saw last week's video, you'll see the water damage that was caused by that leakage. So before we move our things in, we of course, we wanna install that and get that water tight so that we only have the normal amount of boat leaks that one has when they live on a boat before we put all of our stuff in there because we don't want it to be gross. So we are so, so close and it's becoming more and more reality every day. Right now we're staying with my family and we should be out of here relatively quickly, but they've been very kind to let us stay here and use it as a home base while we're getting this all done and together. Very, very soon, the Curious George is going to be in the water. It might be the end of this week. It might be early next week but it's coming and it's here soon. So if you've been enjoying these videos, make sure you subscribe so you can come along on the journey. I'm Kelly and I'll see you in the next video.